Welcome to one of the most overused stadiums in Scottish football. In the past couple of years, I've seen quite a few teams use this as their home stadium. So I actually never saw Clyde play here, but they were playing here for a number of years, right up until this season. They're now playing in Hamilton, I believe. Um, I've also seen Glasgow City women play here at their home stadium, as this being their home stadium. I've seen Cumbernauld Old Colts play here, this being their home stadium. Today I'm going to be seeing Open Gold Broom Hill against East Kilbride. Open Gold Broom Hill can call this home now. And I saw a tweet today that said that Rangers women's team will be using this stadium as their home stadium as well. And I think I first ever saw Rangers play here. Men, women, youth, whatever. Um, I think the first ever Rangers game I saw was here against Glasgow City women, if I'm not mistaken, during all the midst of the lockdowns and stuff. So I've not been here for a while, but I'm really, really excited for today's game. It's load and league, league action in the stadium that has been that could be called home by five different teams just in the space of like a year or two. Absolutely mad stuff, see you in a bit. Really interesting to be back inside of Broadwood Stadium, which obviously used to be the home of Clyde. Um, I didn't see any Clyde signs outside, and it used to say over there in that stand, Clyde FC, but they've had to rearrange the seats. As you can see, there's now like a, a little white and black bit in the middle. Those white and black seats used to be, they used to say Clyde FC along there, but I was just chatting to one of the guys who works here, and he was telling me they had to take all that out and rearrange them so that all the white and the black are there, and then the rest is just red, and they don't say Clyde anymore. But look, here's a little hangover from the past. There we go, look, Clyde used to play here. I actually made a video about Clyde before and called them the Homeless Football Club because of how nomadic they've been um, down the years. Uh, they used to have a old classic home, which was a Greyhound Stadium, but yep, now they don't have a home of their own. They're back at Hamilton. Right, you've been on the channel once or twice before, but yes. firstly, mate, just introduce yourself and what. let everyone know what you do at uh, East Kilbride. So I'm Sean and I'm now the head of communications at East Kilbride. We've bumped into each other a couple of times at yep. the Ayrshire Derby and up at St Johnston for a Yes, Dundee that's well. right, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So we've um, we've seen each other a few times, but it's great now to see you uh, involved at East Kilbride. Just explain to everybody how the season has gone for East Kilbride so far. So we've played, we've played three games so far, one, two, lost one, we won our opening game against Trinent, who are newly promoted yep. on your side, um, full of ambition. We lost 4-3 against Rangers at home, then we beat the Hearts B team, one as well and yep. now we're here at open goal and so East Kilbride have won two lost one open goal have lost one and won two as well so you're both on six points how do you feel going into today's game obviously here at Broadwood as well yeah so outsiders are saying it's a six pointer or all low it's only the <laughs> yeah. fourth game into the season it's, there's, a, there's a lot riding in it and yeah seems like it'll be the two of the strongest teams this year yeah and the Lone League is very very competitive as you know yeah. yourself there could be five maybe even six teams that are that are pushing for the top spots yep. and hopefully we're the Two wins in your first two games and then a setback at the weekend. What went wrong in the last game? What do you think you got to do differently today to combat that? Uh, what went wrong last game? I thought we started really well. Uh, first 30 minutes, I thought we had control of the game. Uh, I don't think civil service really had a shot and goal. Yep. Um, and then maybe after a goal, I thought we took a foot off the gas. We started to do things that we weren't doing in the first 30 minutes. And when you do stuff like that against a good team in civil service, you know how to play their pitch. Start trying to force things through the middle of the pitch. Yep. Um, obviously, the mistake comes for the goal. Um, and then after that, we went away for kind of what we'd done well in that first 30 minutes. So it's a good lesson for us that if we go the goal down, there's nothing, no need to panic. We just need to keep doing yep. what we do as a team of um, and stick to the principles. So um, hoping for a, a wee reaction tonight. And against East Kilbride tonight, they're obviously a good side. I think they've yeah. won the Lowland League a few times in the last right. maybe decade or so. Um, a word on them? What do you think about uh, their no, chances? Again, I, I, I didn't focus too much on the opposition, to be honest. Obviously, I watched the last couple of games and see how they play, but I know that every team is going to be tough in this league. I yep. think it's a really tough league this year. I said it at the start of the season. I think, I think a lot of teams have, have, um, have, brought, have bought really well. Um, and again, I think the, manage, the, the level of manager and coach in this league is really good. Yep. Um, so I expect a tough test um, for every team that we play. Again, it's all about us. I, I fully concentrate on what we are doing. So I know if we can play a football, we'll get into a game in, in this league. So that's what, that, that's what I'm fully focused on.
Right, lads. So you're all local, right? To, yeah. To this place. And you used to come and watch Clyde play? Yeah. yeah. There's been a lot of teams that have played here, obviously. Yeah. So how excited are you to see Open Goal against East Kilbride today? Yeah. Should be a good game? Yeah. And so score picks, I'll start round here and end up round with you boys. So um, you... I think it'll be two each. Two each. Uh, two no. Two no. Two each, I'll Oh, one no Broomhill. Two no, two no. Two one Broomhill. And what about you? Uh, two one Broomhill. Well, that, that is a bad one. What's that? Did you know the one? Please, please, please. Please, please, please. As you can see, I'm halfway through my pie. I'm lucky I am, because I literally bought it like a minute ago, and now it is 1-0 to open goal Broomhill. And it's a bit of a clash of the titans, this, really, in, uh, in the division this year. Of course, with the big names that open goal Broomhill have got, and, of course, what a big team East Kilbride are. What have you thought about the pie? Uh, it's not great. Not good? Uh, Rating out of 10? I'll give it a, a 5. A 5. What could be better about it? Uh, it's a bit hard. A bit hard. What about you? I can't even tell if it's cooked. Number out of ten? Three. Oh, East Kilbride have scored. Look at that. One all. A bit slow on the draw. This time the culprit is the coffee, but yes, it is one all now. Rangers are 1-0 down. Bloody hell. Cheers for the updates, boys. I think the East Kilbride fans are over the other side of that stand. Whereas, look, good turnout here today. Despite Rangers being on the TV in the Champions League qualifier, there's a good load of fans here. Obviously only in this stand, but yeah, I think East Kilbride are over there. And they are getting on top now. <laughs> So change position for the second half. Um, I was down with those little lads down there by the dugout. Um, good to be uh, chatting to them and be near the dugouts and hear what everyone's saying. But couldn't really get a very good view of the pitch. So look, as you can see, here we are in the padded seats where I was for the uh, Ladies Champions League um, way back in the day. Good to be back at Broadwood, bringing back some good memories from uh, all those lockdowns and all that. But yeah, one all second half is underway. There we go, right in the stroke of the hour. As you can see, 2-1 open goal. I think it was an own goal for open goal. And this will be a big result for them. It's like I've said a few times, this is a good side, East Kilbride, big team in the Lowland League. They've won it a few times. Now open goal, have got the backing, but yeah, 2-1. Broadfoot's in the box. Oh! Oh! This could honestly be like 5-4. How it's still 2-1 is mad. Oh, what a goal! Wow. Oh, oh, that's a great goal. Oof. Honestly, this game has been played from literally in just each heart, uh, each third. There's been no play in the centre of the pitch. It's all been end to end. And oh, East Kilbride, what a game! East Kilbride, three two. Now. Wow. Yeah, this game has literally just been free kicks, chances, shots, and it's been played there and there, and basically none there. But here we go. Look. It's about to change. 3-2 East Kilbride. What a game. Don't 
don't know where I'm going here. I'm completely lost in the stadium, which has been home to five teams. Can I just walk out this door? Maybe I can. Fingers crossed. There we go. Thoughts on the game? It was a cracker. The free kick was good. Five goals. Five goals. And so, do you think East Kilbride will win the Lowland League this year? No. Looking at them? No? Celtic beat. Celtic beat. Play, you play for Celtic, right? The under 14s. You can't go up them. No, oh, you don't think? Best game of my life. Wow, yeah, what a game. I, um,. I was obviously invited down by um, Open Gold Broom Hill today after meeting a lot of the lads um, at the Cowden Beef game. So a huge thank you to them. But if I were to come and pay for a ticket, it was only nine pounds. So, or if you're a kid, I think it was six pounds. So six pounds, five goal was an amazing game. Um, if you're a kid or nine pound as an adult, um, absolute bargain. I always say Lowland League's one of the most exciting leagues um, to watch within the UK. Um, you go all up and down the UK. Um, I've been to uh, like last season, Southampton v Burnley, it was two all, but it was an alright day. Um, but it was a little bit boring. Whereas you can come here and like for nine pounds, you can um, have a fantastic experience or whatever. So would always recommend for you guys to come and see non-league football in Scotland. It's fantastic, especially when you get big names there. As well, Andy Halliday was there again, like it was at Cowden Beef. Kevin Kyle was on the commentary of Moza. Um, who's been on the videos a few times before as well. So, yeah, always have a fantastic experience. Good to chat to Sai again. Um, shame that Open Gold Broomhill couldn't get the three points or couldn't get one point. Um, but some game went 1-0 up, then it was 1-0, then Open Gold went 2-1 up, and then they ended up losing 3-2 to East Kilbride, who are a well-established team. And East Kilbride, I said that they would be the champions of the Lone League this year in my predictions video. So, big battle of the Titans, this one. you got Open Gold with their back in and um, East Kilbride with their history of this tournament. Um, surely they're going to go up one year. Um, and hopefully this is their year. They're a fantastic club and I've got to know a few of the people there um, sort of down the years. And uh, yeah, they're a lovely bunch of guys, as are the people at Open Gold Broom Hill as well. So wish them both all the best. Again, I just am so happy that the season is back upon us. Um, yeah, can't wait to uh, crack on and watch more games. It's Dundee United next, um, and then a few other games um, featuring some massive teams um, coming up soon. So, yeah, thank you so much for the support as ever. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next one.